Hello and good evening. Well, I've finished the armies in plastic 132 scale woodland Indians. Not the best figures I've ever painted. I can't say I thoroughly enjoyed painting them. A bit of a chore at times. But uh, they've come out alright. I prefer doing the bases to the actual figure. Armies in plastic, they've got a good range. But the detail and the quality of the figures... Well, I won't be buying any more. Apart from the Woodland Indians and Rogers Rangers, I haven't got any more armies in plastic, so they're all gone. So, there we are then, eight bloodthirsty savages. I've done the bases on these. I ran out of uh, Woodland base and stuff. So I gave young CJ Shake a shout. And he went out and uh, got me a load of moss. And that's come out of treat. There's even little shoots coming off the moss. And that with little flowers on sort of thing. These, uh, can you see that? Hold on, hold on. They're just poking out. And on the other side as well, look. Good effect, I like that moss. And of course, uh, I've got the old tree trunk bits out again. Been out in the garden looking for bits of wood. I may have gone overboard, but like I said, I, I enjoyed basing them. They come out all right. If you saw the previous video, that guy there firing his musket with a black face was the guy with a black and white spot face that I said I weren't keen on his wall paint. I was going to do it again. Uh, so I dotted his shirt instead. Let's have a close up. He's come out all right. Happy with him. And again, obviously, you can all see, I've gone for the puffs of smoke off a musket. I like that effect. Reminds me of uh, the Huron ambush in Last of the Mohicans when they left the fort. And uh, Magwer and his worries were waiting in the woods for the English. I have based these figures, especially the red and black wall paint on her on from the film Last of the Mohicans, obviously. I give that bloke kneeling by the bush, kneeling by the tree there. The feather poking up directly from his head is an added feather that I sort of just added on with a little bit of milly put. I had my reasons, but I won't go into that right now. There we go then. Tough for them. So the question is, what am I going to do next? Well, I'm working on uh, Victrix 28mm Highlanders downstairs. Napoleonic Highlanders. Got most of the block, I blocked most of the base coats in. But I've never done tartan before. And I've always avoided Highlanders because of the tartan. So uh, they should be done, hopefully, by next weekend. Depends if I steam into them or just do them at a leisurely pace. I don't know. But obviously, uh, on the 132 scale, Scott's greys have got to get finished off. And do some more work on the figures that are there. Staying on the American history theme. By the American history, I mean these woodland Indians and the colonial militia, the British infantry and the American infantry and Rogers Rangers, etc. That little clump of figures there. The Scots Greys are obviously Napoleonic. So, I'll let you lot go. Thanks for watching. Take care and stay safe and enjoy your hobby. And I'll see you all soon. Stay safe.